Welcome to Hype. When you first open Hype, you will see a new document window as well as Hype's inspector. Let's get started by dragging and dropping some images onto the scene. Hype provides many useful features such as guidelines, alignment, and sizing tools for arranging your content. Hypes Inspector presents a simple interface for changing and fine-tuning element properties. Adding a shadow lifts our images off the scene, giving us some visual depth. Let's give our scene a title by inserting a new text box. The Text Inspector lets us change fonts and other text properties. Hype is more than just static layout, however. Let's animate these images using Hype's record feature. Turn on recording by clicking the record button. This tells Hype to watch everything that happens on the scene and in the timeline and to automatically generate keyframes as needed. With recording turned on, we first move our images to their starting location and make them invisible. This is the starting state for our animation. Now advance the timeline forward to 3 seconds and then move our images to their final location, make them visible, and turn off recording. We can play back our new animation using the animation controls on the left hand side of the window. Open up one image in Hype's element and property list to see the keyframes Hype recorded. Our animations are shown to the right of the element and property list in the timeline. Hype's timeline gives you full control over animations and their keyframes so that you can change and adjust animations with ease. Scenes are similar to slides in Keynote and they let you separate and organize content. Until now, we have been editing one scene. Let's add a second scene. Open the scene list by clicking Show Scenes in Hype's toolbar and add a new scene by clicking the plus button on the left side of the scene list. On our new scene, we'll add a video and a title. Now that we have two scenes, let's create a button in our first scene to get to the second. Buttons have three different states, normal, hover, and pressed, to respond to user actions. We want our button's text to turn bold when it's pressed. Every element in Hype can respond to user actions, such as mouse movements or clicks. When the user clicks our new button, we want to transition to the second scene using a swap transition. Let's see what our document looks like in the browser. Click Preview in Hype's toolbar to open our document in your default browser. As you can see, all of our animations, effects, and transitions play back beautifully in the browser. Finally, let's export our document to HTML5. Exporting creates an HTML template file and a self-contained resources folder. To embed your new animation into an existing web page, all you need to do is copy and paste three lines of code from the template and upload the resources folder. With Hype, you'll quickly and easily create beautiful HTML5 animations and interactive sites.